morning everybody um, welcome to my channel uh, we're doing some touch rugby so the, if you haven't seen the first video um, it's about how we dump a ball correctly uh, this one is going to be how the half picks up the ball so in rugby league they call it a dummy half in touch rugby gone they used to call it a dummy half but it's actually just the person who picks the ball off the floor is called a half um, and the only remain a half um, once they distributed the ball and got it back, they're not a half anymore. So that detail will come later. But just remember, the person who picks the ball off the floor uh, is a half. Uh, best, until you know what you're doing, is just to release that ball. So I'm gonna show you, like I keep saying is in my videos, is the fundamental basics, getting those right and getting the right little elements within that, that skill that we're trying to do. Um, and repeating it over and over again in control. Remember colors? Green is where I'm comfortable, yellow is where I'm working hard, red is out of control. So we need to find how we can work in that yellow zone and repeat, repeat, repeat until it becomes part of our, our green zone. So here we go. Um, picking the ball off the floor is getting the little elements right, which gives you the platform to be able to do so much more. So here we go. If we're playing in this direction here towards the, the camera, um, I am going to get this foot ahead of the ball if I'm passing the ball that way. It automatically turns my shoulders and the key here, just like when I do in my hockey is sink your hips, keeps your head up. Watch my head. So if I sink my, my hips, my head stays level. If my head is to the side or it's moving around, you cannot focus on something. You try and focus on something by shaking your head around. You can't. Watch tops players, watch how balanced their head is and how level it is. Be able to think clearly, see clearly what's going around. So here we go, I'm gonna get my foot ahead of the ball. This foot stays behind, sink my hips. I'm being able to see the ball, my player coming, and if there's a shooter coming. So here we go, sink, hands on the ball. Chris will get those right first, and then we're gonna pop the ball. But what it allows me to do is to be able to see what ball I've got to throw. So hopefully you've got good communication and you, can't, you know what it's gonna be, but there might be a change. So you might have to throw a longer ball, or well, suddenly the runner's not there, or the runner's been delayed. By doing this, you're gonna be able to make the adjustments. So here we go, sink and pop, or throw, yeah, spin pass, which we'll get to. Other videos, I'll show you all different ways of moving a ball. Um, so watching from the, from the front, here is there's the ball, I come and approach it, I get this foot ahead of the ball. Again, you can do it this slowly. It's just practicing. After a while, just like writing, when you write in your books, or you write a letter, or you're typing on a computer, you don't look for each key after a while, you know where they are. Same with writing, you don't form an H, you don't form a U, you don't form the L, you just, because of practice and repeated practice, it might be bad practice, you might have bad handwriting, but if you spend time repeating the correct movement, it becomes a habit. Brain very sharp and we, it gets it all right, but we've got to repeat the correct thing every time. So here it is. Remember, sink my hips. Sink my hips. Head up. So I just keep doing this. Get my hands on the ball. My hands on the ball. Especially when it's wet, you've got to be able to get really low to the ball because slight differences cost you the ball. So getting low, getting your hands to the ball. And then after a while, you don't even have to think about it, it automatically happens. So here we go, staying low, ball straight off the deck as we go. Here we go, so here, practice. Placing the ball, practice. Now if you watch, I'm putting the ball down as I'm practicing how to place the ball correctly at the same time. Moving in. Now, something was told to me many years ago when I first started, um, is down and gone. So when the person has placed the ball, you say down. By the time you say gone, the ball should be out of your hand. So you've got to get to the half, to the person dumping the ball really quickly as the half. So down and gone as we go. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Um, just remember those basic things, sinking those hips, foot in front of the ball, getting away from its side to get there early, sink those hips, head stays up, head always stays up, and extend as we pass. 
um, I'll cover what we do with our arms in the passing video. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you did, uh, please like it, share it with other people, um, write some comments, even if it's an encouragement, or ask some questions. Um, I hope we'll be doing some live Zoom stuff on touch, as well as my fitness classes and other sports, hockey and various other ones. Um, but, and if you're not a subscriber, it would be great if you did, and you'll see the new videos coming up. I hope you have a great day, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Cheers, bye.